Hey guys, Andreas here with today's No Good Daily Update. Now today is my How To Tuesday where I teach you how to do something interesting, cool, unique, and or useless. Now yesterday at that Raw party, I got a can of Coke. Just like these, except these are cans of Pepsi, obviously. Can of Coke here in the US, everything's the same. And my friends thought it was funny if they shook it up for me. And everyone's had this dilemma before of having a can of pop shook up on them intentionally and or unintentionally and 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 or. And I've always heard the trick that you need to tap the top of the can for that to work. And I went home and I searched up after I dried myself off how to open a can of pop that's been shooken. Now it's pretty much to no avail on how to solve this simple problem. Everyone says tap the top or tap the bottom or swish around or just let it sit. I'm not very patient. It didn't find anything really. Except I did find one form with a scientific research on how this works and how shaking the can, the science of that, and how scientifically they have proven how to solve it. Now, I'm going to share with you this treasure trove of the internet on how to stop the everlasting problem of the shaken can. Now, when you start to shake a can of pop like this, you know from maybe seeing a clear bottle or something like that from a two liter after walking or shaking it, that you get all these little tiny bubbles along the sides. And those spots are called nucleic spots. Now, that causes the gas to push down and it causes the fizzing and stuff like that. Then when you open it, the gases escape and then it fizzes like crazy and then everything gets wet. Now, when you shake a can of pop, Normally you would have to let this sit for at least two minutes and you can already feel the can and the tension. You have to at least let this sit for two minutes. Now if you hold it in your palm of your hand and flick the sides like this, I'm going to open it in here just in case, and open this, you get no fizzing. Now by no way is this a perfect method, as you can see here, you still have just a couple drops along the side, so I wouldn't suggest opening this over a carpet or anything like that. Still try to do it over a sink, but it will help 99% of that fizzing go away. Thank you for watching this useful and useless at the same time, that's a conundrum, how-to video where I taught you how to do something interesting, and I hope you use this every single day of your life, and when you do it, you think of me, and when you spread the no good daily word that you remember this video. Don't forget to check back again tomorrow, where tomorrow is Personal Wednesday, where I have my personal blog day. It's me day! Yay! Thanks for watching. I should really chug all of that. <laughs> How do people shotgun beers? 